Artificial insemination I, is a technique in which sperm are collected from the male, processed, stored and artificially introduced into the female reproductive tract at proper time for the purpose of conception. AI has become one of the most important techniques ever devised for the genetic improvement of farm animals. It has been most widely used for breeding dairy cattle and buffalo. The first attempts to develop practical methods for AI were described by the Russian Ilya Ivanovich Ivanov, 1870-1932. Ivanov studied AI in domestic farm animals, dogs, rabbits and poultry. He was the first to successfully inseminate cattle artificially. 1939 in India first time, AI was done by Sampat Kumaran at Palace Dairy Farm Mysore. He inseminated large number of Holocker cows with semen of Holstein Frisian and got 33 cows pregnant. Semen is most commonly collected from bulls in bull studs using an artificial vagina, as described. Electrojaculation is an alternative method used with bulls that cannot mount or are too fractious for easy handling. Methods commonly used for semen collection in bull is artificial vagina, electrojaculation, massage, directly from vagina. The processing of semen is done in various steps. First semen is tested through macroscopic evaluation and then microscopic examination. Various biochemical tests used for us is the sperm fertility and characteristics in the bull that indicate good reproductive function. Then dilution of semen takes place. The diluter provide viability and fertility of spermatozoa for prolonged period. After dilution packing of semen is done in medium straw, 0.5 milliliters volume, and mini straw, 0.25 milliliters volume. Medium straw have a 3 millimeters diameter and mini straw have a 2 millimeters. Then the semen is used either immediately after collection and preservation or it is cryopreserved. The extended semen is packed in straws and frozen in liquid nitrogen vapor before plunging into liquid nitrogen for a long term storage. The process was explained in my previous video. Link given in the description. Firstly, it has to be ensured that the cow to be bred is truly in heat. There are several behavioral signs of estress, also called standing heat. The average heat duration is between 15 and 18 hours but may vary from 8 to 30 hours, according to Penn State Extension. The signs are the same, but generally more pronounced in heifers than in cows. During calving season, look for these signs to identify when members of your herd will enter estrus. 1. Standing to be mounted. The most common and accurate sign of estrus is standing to be mounted by other cows and moving forward with the weight of the mounting cow. Cows that move away from an attempted mount are not an estrus. A cow usually stands to be mounted for 20 to 55 times during her reproductive cycle. 2. Cow Mounting Other Cows the act of mounting other cows may be a sign the cow is in heat or approaching heat. Although it's not a primary sign of heat, 
You should watch cows exhibiting this behavior closely for standing behavior. 3. Mucus Discharge Mucus is an indirect result of elevated estrogen levels during estrus. You may observe long viscous, clear elastic strands of mucus hanging from the vulva or smeared mucus on the cow's tail, thighs, flanks or perineal region. However, mucus sometimes won't appear externally until a cow is palpated during insemination. 4. Swelling and reddening of the vulva. During heat, the vulva swells and becomes moist and red on the interior. However, these symptoms appear before heat and remain for a short period after, so alone, they are not a precise indicator of estrus. 5. Bellowing, restlessness and trailing. Cows in heat are more restless and alert standing when their herd mates are laying down resting, trailing behind to try to mount other cows and bellowing more frequently. Cows behaving this way should be monitored closely for standing behavior. 6. Chin resting and back rubbing, before mounting. A cow will rest or rub its chin on the rump or back of the cow it wants to mount. If you observe this behavior, both cows should be monitored for mounting and standing behavior. 7. Sniffing and licking. Sniffing and licking the genitalia of other cows occurs much more frequently with cows before and during estrus. This activity follows sniffing and occurs more frequently when the cow being sniffed is in heat and urinates. 8 decreased feed intake, during their reproductive cycle, cows spend less time feeding. 9. Metastrous bleeding, some cows and most heifers will have a bloody mucus discharge 1 to 3 days after estrus, signifying the cow has moved into the next phase of its reproductive cycle, metastrous. If you observe metastrous bleeding, you should monitor the cow closely for a return to estrus in 18 or 19 days. However, it's important to note this symptom is variable and won't always be observed from one cow to the next. Thawing semen in warm water, 35 to 38 degrees Celsius for 40 seconds is the most commonly used thawing procedure reported by inseminators, 80%. A significant increase in the conception rate, 27%, was reported when thawing occurred in warm water, 33 to 35 degrees Celsius, as opposed to air, also reported a significant increase. 62.4% in the fertility rate when thawing is done in warm water 35 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds compared to pocket thaw. Get your AI gun ready by having it pre-assembled. This should be done before, after you prep the thermos with warm water. Remove the straw from the thermos and wipe it dry with a paper towel. It should be completely dry before you do anything else with it. Flick your wrist slightly, while holding the crimped end, to adjust the air bubble in the straw. The flick should move the bubble to the end you are holding. Put the straw in the rod. Clip half inch, or one centimeter 
from the crimped end of the straw. Use sharp scissors or specially designed straw cutter scissors should be used, and cut in the area that the air bubble is located. Wrap the AI gun in a clean dry paper towel or protective sheath and tuck it in your clothing close to your body to both transport it to the cow and to maintain a constant temperature. Step 1. Restrain the animal to be inseminated. There are several things that should be kept in mind when choosing a location for inseminating cattle. Some of these include safety of both the animal and the inseminator, ease of use, and shelter from adverse weather. A gentle pat on the animal's rump or a soft spoken word as the inseminator approaches will help to avoid startling or surprising the cow. Step 2. Move the tail so it's on top of your left forearm or tie it up so it will not interfere with the AI process. Step 3. Raise the tail with the right hand and gently massage the rectum with the lubricated glove on the left hand. Step 4. Gently wipe the vulva with a paper towel to remove excess manure and debris. Be careful not to apply excessive pressure which may smear or push manure into the vulva and vagina. With the left hand, make a fist and press down directly on top of the vulva. This will spread the vulva lips allowing clear access to insert the gun tip several inches into the vagina before contacting the vaginal walls. Step 5. Insert the gun at a 30 degrees upward angle to avoid entering the urethral opening and bladder located on the floor of the vagina. Step 6. With your left hand in the rectum of the cow, which should have been there to begin with, feel with your fingertips through the wall of the rectum and vagina the location of the end of the AI gun until you reach the cervix. Step 7. Grasp the cervix with the hand in the rectum of the cow, like you would hold a bar that is below your hand, and hold it steady while you thread the rod into and through the cow's cervix. Step 8. When the rod is all the way through the cervix, check the location with your index finger. The rod should be only half to one fourth of an inch into the uterus. Step 9. Slowly depress the plunger at the end where your right hand is so that half or is deposited. Recheck and deposit the remaining half. Step 10. Slowly remove the AI gun, your hand and arm from inside the cow. Check for any blood, infection or semen feedback from inside the sheath. Step 11. Dispose the straw glove, and towels in the proper place. Step 12. Clean the AI gun and sanitize with warm water after using. Step 13. Release the cow and record the breeding information time and date. It was found that rates were highest when cows were inseminated between 6 and 24 hours before ovulation. This early work led to the establishment of the AM, PM recommendation. This guideline suggests that cows in estrus during AM hours should be inseminated during the PM hours, and cows in estrus in the PM should be bred the following AM however. Research with large numbers of cows indicates that maximum conception rates may not be achieved using the AM, PM recommendation. A breeding dose of 8 into 0.5 milliliters straws consists of a total of 800 million sperm and a post-thaw progressive motility of 35%. Two straws can get spendy, but so can a open cow. If you jeet the semen in the right place and the cow is at the right stage of the cycle and the semen is of good quality, one straw will do it.